Hi, I'm Theo Stocker for Yachting Monthly and I'm here at the South Coast Boat Show at Ocean Village Marina in Southampton. And I just want to show you a really fun little boat that I've just seen. Um, it's a day sailor, uh, really small, 22 footer, so it's just a bit of fun, uh, but it's quite an affordable way to get on the water if you're after a keel boat. So let's go and have a look. So what we've got here is a 22 foot open day boat. Um, she's built in Holland. The hulls are actually molded in Turkey uh, and then they're fitted out and uh, built in Holland. Um, and you can see why she'd appeal in Holland, but actually for somewhere like the Solent or Clyde or some harbour sailing, uh, she's a really fun little boat for family sailing. You can easily fit six people in the cockpit here and all the controls are pretty simple. I've got a main sheet here, tiller here, um, a really nifty little electric outboard. So I lift that up and then I turn it on and it lowers. And I give it some revs, the little, their own proprietary brand system that they've built. And then I can turn that off again lift it up with the off button and it puts a blanking blanking plate in place so you've got a nice smooth hull so when you're pottering along and you want to nip across the shipping channel quickly um, you can do that and not have to worry about starting an engine um, other than that we've got these clip-on seats at the forward end so you've got large lazarettes there the forward end of the cockpit we've got opening lockers here which have molded liners little bins and then you've got a cuddy at the forward end it doesn't actually have a cabin on this boat um, so you haven't got the luxuries of a, a port potty or anything like that but for nipping out and sailing for a day um, if sails rather than having a rib is your thing then this boat um, could be a whole lot of fun let's have a look forwards so at the forward end of the cockpit we've got this little cuddy um, it's not big enough to sleep in unless you're feeling particularly adventurous and there's no um, no, no luxuries like a, a porta potty or anything like that, but it is enough to stow some sails and some gear, keep things dry while you're out on the water. Um, all the controls come onto the uh, little cuddy roof here. Jib sheets with their little jib cars, halyards, kicker, all that kind of stuff. So she's very much about sailing uh, rather than comfort or overnighting. Um, but this little panel does come off and then you've got a retractable, retractable bowsprit on the foredeck, easy for me to say. Um, and a little furling jib. Um, so she's quite, quite a little, uh, quite performancey in some ways. Um, and some of the owners are buying her to race, just some casual week evening racing, um, that kind of thing, or just pottering about with your family. So a really fun little boat. Let's go and have a look on the foredeck. So here we go. We've got just a simple mooring cleat on here. A little cuddy roof comes forward here. Two to one jib purchase so that you don't need any winches retractable bowsprit that's controlled from uh, in the cockpit, furling line for the head sail, um, and then the spinnaker will come back into the cockpit. There's no sort of um, spinnaker shoot or anything like that. So it's really simple to handle, um, but enough that you can move around on deck and moor up. So this is the difference between a dinghy and a keelboat, is you've got a little bit of stability here. You can see she's not too tender, you can rock her a little bit. But for nervous family, small children, just daytime outings, um, be absolutely perfect. In terms of the hull, you've just got a transom hung rudder here with a smooth shaped hull, nothing too beamy, too drastic. So she should be fairly predictable to helm. Got a bathing ladder there. Um, not quite an open transom. You've got those lazarettes there. No guard wires or anything, because this is just a day boat. Uh, the combing helps keep any water out, spray to hide behind and a reasonably fine entry so she should be okay upwind nice looking slippery little hull with a 1.1 meter deep t keel um, which you can lift up for trailing so that's the little aero 22 day sailor i hope you've enjoyed having a look um, i think she looks like a really fun little boat and if i can can get out on the water on her i will do 
Price-wise, she comes in at £23,000, excluding VAT, exactly as you see here as she is. So you're looking at about £25,000, £26,000 in the UK, um, which for a keelboat to get you and the family out on the water isn't too bad. Um, yeah, let's see if we can get a sail on her. Thank you.